What's up guys, Mason the Brock Henderson here. So, I had a bit of a plan, and that plan went to complete crap. So, my idea was, uh, I had actually recorded a few of these randomizer gameplays, and um, I had been working on editing them. I wanted to put them out a little bit after I got done at Dragon Con, uh, just to sort of get a feel for where I was in the editing process, and you know, get some feedback uh, however, I got sick right after DragonCon, so I have not been able to post those yet. I did edit them. I feel like I'm kind of happy with how they look, but because I'm not feeling well, you could probably hear it in my voice, I did not want my first Let's Play on the channel to be sounding and feeling like this. So instead, I'm going to hop into another randomizer uh, just for fun, just to kind of chill a little bit, have some good times, and all of that fun stuff. So I have been picking out the daily hard seed for the past week or so, and uh, in doing so I have been making sure to save what they are so that way I can remember what exactly they are, uh, and you know, probably just pick the fun ones and record those for the time being until I feel a little bit better. Uh, so for today's, this is from September 1st. You can see we've got the bias checks are even later, so it does make it a little bit more fun. They're not going to be, it's not going to be quite an, as easy of a seed. Uh, I am going to have to dig into the worlds a little bit more to get to what I'm looking for. Uh, all worlds are the same. All max battle levels are 50. All visits are scaled. So essentially, uh, to run that down for anybody that cares... <laughs> Uh, essentially what that means is that the second or third visits to the world are 50 and then the first visit or second visit is scaled to match that. So for example, if the second visit to a world was level 25, that would mean that that second visit was now 50, so it would be times 2, and in such the first visit would also be times 2. So if the first visit was like level 10, it would be pushed up to 20. Um, I might do a little graphic to kind of show that a little bit better because I know I'm not going to be explaining it well right now with how my brain is jumbled a bit. Uh, what's in this cavern does mean that the Cavern of Remembrance is enabled, so we might be jumping into there a little bit as well, which can be pretty fun. You know, it can be a little bit of a challenge to have to go through. Lock second visits means that we have to find certain checks. Um, most of the time, if I'm not mistaken, most of the second visits can be unlocked by obtaining the weapon for the uh, person or your party member that's there. So like the beast claw or like some of the swords that party members use. I know for Hollow Bastion you have to get the membership card and then for Twilight Town you have to get the picture and the ice cream. So but yeah, we have to get all of that and then beatable seed. This is one that I don't know if I've ever done a seed with this modifier on before. So it says the seed is guaranteed to give you three proofs, but say some locations may be impossible to reach. So I'm guessing what that means is it's not like any of the three proofs are going to be locked and hard locked and you can't get to them. But there's a chance that, say, if I need to get the membership card to get to Hollow Bastion, there's a chance that if Hollow Bastion doesn't have any of the proofs, the membership card may actually be locked behind the second visit or something along those lines. Don't know if that's how that works. Um, if anybody has a bit more insight, maybe they can let me know down in the comments exactly how all of that works. But, I mean, it's it's a pretty fun sounding seed. Some interesting modifiers added onto it. I'm definitely looking forward to hopping into it. As you can see, the, the tracker here I've got pulled up. Um, so we've got all of these possible important checks to get. So we will be working to get all of these unlockables down here to open up the, the world. Simulated Twilight Town doesn't have anything on it, so that's kind of nice. Uh, I'd prefer if it was 100 Acre Wood because I'm not a fan of those mini games and such, but like I said, it seems like a fun seed. It's going to be interesting to try to edit this one with how sick I've been. Uh, I probably do not sound great. I'm probably going to be stumbling over my words a lot, so I'm going to make hopefully something entertaining out of all of this but let's hop into it let's go okay so as i almost always do uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the pride lands 
Uh, this first visit will actually be a little bit higher level since visits are going to be scaled up a bit. Okay. This is it. All right. So I'm up to level eight, which is not bad. Um, so I figured something else I can do during this seed is uh, kind of tell you guys a little bit about how things are going. I, I think I've talked a little bit already about some of my plans on what Let's Plays I want to do. So let me just talk a little bit about how DragonCon 2023 went. Uh, maybe put some pictures up from it because I do have a few of those. I'll probably do that more so during just whenever I'm running around or whenever I'm fighting because I don't think I have the brain capacity at the moment to try to remember what I'm getting from chess as well as talk about experiences. Okay, so we got Blizzard here. And that is not going to be the only thing, but obviously nowhere near ready to continue on. Um, so something I've been trying to do with the editing of the first few videos is I have been trying to show at least whenever I get stuff like defender reaction reaction boost um, I started with combo boost whenever I started it up so but I have been at least trying to show when I get those abilities um, but I'm trying obviously I'm not going to show every single chest that I open because god that would take forever so I hope that's gonna be a good thing all right, so with that being done, we can go ahead and hop into Halloween Town. This one will also be a bit tougher. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying. I also am not trying to show whenever I get every single ability, just more so the ones that most people tend to use. So like Aerial Sweep is not one that everybody uses. But yeah, going back to what I was saying earlier, though. Um, I try to show, like, definitely all of the, the movement abilities and any support abilities that are, you know, your MP Astaga's defender, stuff like that. Okay, so not too bad. Definitely had a lot harder of a time with that on my first <laughs> randomizer that I recorded. So it definitely feels like a lot of the checks that I'm getting from chests are going to be more just simple stuff. You know, your ethers, potions, consumables, all that type of stuff. All right, so definitely have not done much of note yet, so I'm gonna hop right into Agrippa as well. See what's in these chests here. Ah, oh, Goofy. Yeah, so my original plan before the whole sickness and stuff, because um, I'd recorded three of these randomizer gameplays, and um, I'd already s finished editing the first one. I started working on the second one a little bit. So the plan was, after Dragon Con, I was going to come back home and then prepare for a trip to Ohio, because uh, that's where my girlfriend lives. Because, um, you know, long distance is fun. So the plan was we actually had a wedding to go to uh, for a friend of ours. However, obviously that did not work out. Uh, so, oh, torn pages, sweet. Okay, I don't have enough movement yet to get through the cave, so we're just gonna ignore that for now. Uh, but we will hop, hop into Disney Castle because I should be able to get quite a few levels here. Uh, Faith with many, I'm pretty sure, does like a portion of damage every time, no matter the level. So because the, the level will be higher here, I should level up a lot more than I'm used to. But anyways, um, I don't remember where I left off before because my brain, again, is super jumbled. So I'm trying to keep my thoughts together. But yeah, so the plan was Dragon Con, go up to Ohio, uh, go to a wedding, 
Uh, since that did not work out, I've just kind of been chilling. Got stitched. Very good. But Dragon Con, though, was pretty fun this year. We actually... So me and my girlfriend have tried to cosplay all three years that we've gone. We started going in 2021, which, of course, was a... <laughs> Not a great year to start going because it definitely set our expectations a lot lower. Because, yeah, when we went before in 2021, it was very, very, um, it was very small compared to what is usually happening. Because this, this past year, oh my god, Minnie, I hate you so much. Just let me push you, please. So anyway, yeah, so 2021 was weird. Because there was hardly that many people there. They put a very low cap on it. But then 2022 was a little bit... Yeah, you know, they raised the cap a little bit more. Um, it was a little bit more normal, uh, according to the friends of ours that have gone every year, almost. At least every year for a while. All right, I'm not going to talk a whole lot through this room. Because I don't want to subject everybody to this constant noise. Okay. Now that I'm done with this room, I will continue. So, between the first two years that we went, though, it definitely was not the true Dragon Con experience from what we understood. Uh, so this year was definitely a lot more, I, I believe, what Dragon Con is. All right, Stitch and Fire are not the only two things here, so we'll keep going. But yeah, this year, a uh, lot more... Bumping shoulder to shoulder with people. Hard to move around. Oh, okay. Genie was the last thing here. So we are out of here. All right. So I believe next up what I want to do. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go through Hollow Bastion real quick. Because if I'm not mistaken, the third visit is uh, going to be a little bit higher level. Which means... Yeah, so the level here has not risen much from where it normally is because of how it, the scaling works and such. So I feel like this is a good place to go to get some checks out of the way, and also we can get through this first visit pretty quickly. Who knows, maybe it will unlock the second visit if I'm lucky. Probably not, though. But yeah, so for Dragon Con this year, uh, our cosplays, we did... Human versions of even Wally from the Disney movie Wally, which was pretty fun. You know, it was kind of a simpler cosplay to put together. On Friday, uh, I already had a Sherlock costume, so I decided to go ahead and go with that. Just because it was uh, a little bit easier and I needed an easy one. Um, but my friend, she actually created her own costume on Friday, which kind of blew my mind because I don't understand any of the, uh, the sewing and arts and craft and all of that. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and run to Beast Castle now. Just because, I mean, the first visit will be scaled up a bit, but until we get to the, the door down below, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Plus, I'm, I'm pretty decently leveled at this point, thanks to some of the grinding I did at Disney Castle. So I think I'm actually going to be okay right now. But yeah, so my girlfriend actually built her first, or sewed her first costume this year. And she was Professor Garlic from Hogwarts Legacy. Again, it was really cool to see it all come together. On Saturday, a uh, pretty simple cosplay for me. Um, a little bit more difficult for her. We did Robert and Giselle from Enchanted. And then on Saturday, pretty simple costume for us both. We did uh, Kim and Ron from Kim Possible, which was definitely more a cosplay for me since I grew up with that. She did not grow up with that show. She was more of a Nickelodeon girl. But yeah, so we had fun with the cosplays. We got to see a lot of cool ones this year as well. It was a little bit different. We ended up doing... We ended up commuting in this year. Last year, we actually stayed on site. So it was weird kind of taking a step back in a way. Um, but there are benefits to doing both. 
Uh, definitely one of the benefits of staying off-site was we, last year we ended up staying on an air mattress because we were rooming with a bunch of friends. This year we actually had a bed to sleep in, so that was a lot better. Also, the money we saved not... Oh, there's the membership card, so now we can go back to Hollow Bastion, which I'll probably do after I'm done here. But yeah, the money we saved not staying on site was definitely beneficial. Okay, so we still have more important checks here, so let's go ahead and continue. But yeah, so we actually didn't do any panels this year, which we had done the past couple years. Um, and a lot of that was just down to, because of the whole strike going on right now, uh, most of the panels were more focused on just talking to the actors that were there. But yeah, any panels that were focused on talking about any sort of property um, didn't have any of the actors that were there for it. So it was more fans talking about it than more than anything. So nothing really caught our interest, so we didn't really do panels this year. We did, however, get to talk to some of the uh, the actors that were there and take some pictures so that was pretty cool because there were a couple there that I was excited to meet but yeah so I I had actually gotten to meet um, Maurice LaMarche in 2021 um, but of course back then mass mandates abounded so uh, getting to meet him with my face covered was not as exciting as meeting him just being able to talk to him in person uh, so that was cool he did catch me off guard a little bit by asking me if he, if I was pondering what he was pondering and then that caused me to whip out my piss poor impersonation of uh, <laughs> Pinky. Uh, but it was still fun to meet him though, get a picture with him and all that. Uh, another cool one, I got to meet uh, Lucien Dodge and get a picture with him. Uh, and being a Danganronpa slash now Raincoat fan, uh, it was really fun to meet him and just sort of talk to him a little bit. Alright, so I think I'm going to go ahead and leave um, and head back to Hollow Bastion for now. Yeah, so Maurice LaMarche and Lucy Dodge is cool, uh, but definitely the coolest, the two cooler pictures for me personally, nothing to do with, no slight against either of those two, but uh, being a Kingdom Hearts lover, uh, they had a lot of Arrowverse people there, uh, one of which being Willa Holland, and that was freaking awesome. I think most people that have played Kingdom Hearts know that Aqua is definitely, I, I would say is definitely the best female character. Some people might argue about that. I don't think anybody's going to make an argument for Kyrie. Poor girl. She cannot catch a break. Oh, okay. So Halloween Town's second visit is unlocked. Sweet. But some people might argue for Namine or maybe Shion. Uh, some people, you know, the ones that enjoy to be stepped on might argue for Larxene, but no, I, I definitely think Aqua's the best female character in Kingdom Hearts, so um, getting to meet Willa Holland was really cool and get a picture with her as well. Uh, but also the other one, which I wouldn't say it was as cool as I think it could have been actually meeting and talking with them, but... Uh, Getting a group picture with my friends with Andy Serkis and Elijah Wood and Sean Astin was really awesome. Uh, growing up with Lord of the Rings, it was just so cool to see that trio together uh, and get a picture with them together as well. But yeah, it definitely it was not quite the same as getting a one-on-one -on -one picture or getting to talk with them. Because the photo shoots at Dragon Con are very much a you get in, you take the picture, you get out. Um, even if they're trying to talk to you, the people who are taking the pictures are like, alright, move it along. And you're just like, okay, bye. Okay, so I'm probably woefully unprepared for this battle. If I can get past this battle, I can go ahead and access the Garden of Assemblage, which would be nice. Yes. Or the Cavern of Remembrance. Nope. Oh. Okay. Alright. Two tries, let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and see what the chests here have for us. Dodge roll. So that was a complete waste of time. Nothing to be gotten in the beginning of Garden of Simulage, or the Cabin of Remembrance. Don't know why I keep doing that. All right, next up, we're going to check Land of Dragons. 
Just because, again, I feel like I should be high enough level to handle the first part of this. Yeah, so I got to meet some cool celebrities and such. It's funny because... Having, I've, I've done some background work on sets before, so I've been around celebrities, I've worked with celebrities before. Obviously I don't know any of them personally, but I've never had that sort of like starstruck feeling before. But there's still something really cool about meeting people that, you know, when you respect the work that they do, I feel like that's, for me, the big thing about it. But I feel like that's always kind of been the draw to me um, as far as like meeting celebrities or actors or anything like that is like because I'm also aspiring to be an actor I don't really see them as like oh my god they're so so much better than me so much higher than, like they are obviously good at what they do and there's a reason why they got to where they are but I almost look at them more as like I guess the best way to describe it would be because they're in the same field of profession that I want to be in, I look at them as kind of role models as far as talent and how to how to do that side of the job. I don't know. It was it was cool though. It was it's always a fun experience to get to meet people who have shaped a lot of my childhood or have brought characters to life that I have I've grown to love. That's always a fun experience, and that's one of the few reasons why I always look forward to Dragon Con. Uh, at least for as long as I've been going. Alright, so Magnet is the first important check, and there is Peter Pan. Let me check before I go over here. Okay, there's still more. Yeah, so I, I know I probably rambled a lot, because I... Still feel a little bit out of it from the sickness, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed maybe some of the pictures, assuming that I don't have any issue putting them in, and hopefully some of the stories as well. I don't know. It's just fun to kind of have a little outlet to talk about stuff, especially when I'm not feeling great. But yeah, so assuming all goes well, though. I do have two of the videos completely edited. Um, I'm just having a couple of friends look over them first, just so uh, we can kind of basically do a, a proof watch and make sure I'm not doing anything really stupid. Uh, but also just to see you know, if they have any ideas uh, on how to improve it and stuff. But assuming both of those are good, I will probably be uploading those. Um, alongside my videos of reviews and such. Um, and then once I get to feeling better, uh, I already know which series I'm going to start left playing first. So, pretty clean. But anyways, as I was saying, uh, I do have an idea of which series I want to let's play first. So I'm going to be hopping into that once I feel a little bit better um, and not as stuffy. Oh, but okay. So obviously I can't go back there yet to get to the throne room. I think since I already have two torn pages, I'm going to go ahead and hop into 100 Acre Wood as much as I don't want to. But who knows, maybe the first place that I go before I do any mini games, maybe that will give me what all that's here. Uh, of course it wouldn't be that easy. Alright, time to go get the pig back. Alright, so back in we go for the second page. I think next stop is going to be Olympus Coliseum. So my hope is that I can find something here that'll help me. Alright, so this should be difficult but not impossible especially magnet makes it a lot a lot nicer and then Cerberus should be no big deal either honestly I might be able to make it all the way to the Hydra for this one 
I might just go ahead and finish out the first visit of this world and just see what's here. Easy peasy. Yeah, so I'm starting to realize that the all worlds are, are the same modifier is both detrimental and beneficial at the same time. Because on the one hand, it does mean that every visit is going to be a little bit more difficult than before. But it also means that you're going to be leveling up a lot quicker because the enemy's levels are going to be higher. So you'll get more experience. So I feel like I'm actually probably a bit higher level than I would normally be in this situation. Yeah, it is interesting. Because I've done these randomizers quite a bit now, um, I really can tell the difference between just normal important check placement, just normal placement in general of all the checks. And then dance, now that it's on dance. hard, I can tell the difference because again, a lot of these oh, yeah. checks yeah, are just consumables. Yeah. Or at least, I mean, the easier ones to get to are all consumables. Okay. So once more on Dimmix here. Um, still more to go. That's the thing, even just getting certain abilities like Magna Burst, I'm like, please give me more of those. Because I don't have hardly any. Sorry, Phil, you don't need to tell me. I already know. Oh, sweet, reflect. And that was all that was there, so we don't even have to go back. Awesome. Okay, so with Olympus Coliseum being done, uh, I think I'm going to go over to Space Paranoids. So I actually do have the ability at the moment to go ahead and exploit levels here, because I have Stitch. Yeah. I have Stitch. I have Experience Boost on my Keyblade. It'd be nice if I had a second Experience Boost, but one should be fine. But I think I might do that after I uh, unlock the power core. Proof of peace! Did not expect to get a proof in one of the first ch <laughs> chests. I did end up getting... Alright, looks like I got uh, Agraba unlocked from levels sometime during that fight, I believe. So, with that, we'll go ahead and get the last few chests that I can reach here, and we will move on. Okay, I think now's a good time to jump into Twilight Town. I would have preferred to have the second visit of Twilight Town unlocked, but... It's fine, I'll get what I can here and keep going. More torn pages. Fantastic. Gather. Okay. So we didn't really get much of anything there. Um, just some torn pages. I think my next stop should probably be World That Never Was. Um, at the very least, I can cheese the Roxas fight. Was that... Is that supposed to be a joke? Cause I'm not laughing! So I've never had this much trouble trying to cheese Roxas. I've failed once before. Like, it, it happens occasionally. You just hit that one moment where your timing's a little unlucky. You know, you just don't quite react as quick as you should have. I think it's happened a couple of times. I really hope this is just the sickness. All right, so we are back. Um, I had some food come in, so I decided to take a break, have some lunch, get some caffeine in me. Maybe that'll help, because this fight was really starting to piss me off. So, let's see if uh, doing that has awakened my senses at all. Note to self. Take off the dodge roll, leave the room, and then come back in. So that way, next time, you don't forget that you haven't taken the dodge roll off yet. Ah! 
god, I hate myself right now. So much. Okay. Okay. Finally done. I am embarrassed at how many times I died in this fight. And we got Beast Claw. We can go back to Beast Castle. Excellent. I might go ahead and finish up Beast Castle. I'm pretty sure there's still more there to do. Yeah. I don't think I'll get too far. But at the very least, I will finish up the first visit and then I can start the second visit, maybe? Yeah, my reflexes are shit today. I'm beginning to think this might be the last day that I ever try to like record something like this while I'm feeling this way. Because, um, not gonna lie, I kind of suck right now. I mean, I hope that the first few videos that I put out prove that I at least am competent at gaming. Because, god, this video is going to make a lot of people question if I've ever touched a controller in my life. I think now might be a good time for me to go through the Cave of Wonders real quick, just to see what all is in the chests here. Um, still very concerned that I've not found a single form yet. It's definitely making things a lot more difficult. Especially since with my luck, one of the proofs is going to be on forms. Alright, so we got Proud Fang. So there's still more here. Interesting. Oh, Master Form is on levels, okay. Okay, so there's still more to Agrabah. I could go back and uh, try to get all the way to Jafar to see what's there. But I think actually first off I'm going to stop off in Port Royal. I prefer to have Thunder before I come here, just to make things a little bit simpler, but... I at least have fire and blizzards, so that will help me enough. Alright, so this one will be a good fight to uh, level up Master Form a couple times, so let's do that. Okay, so cure from the barrels. Alright, fire at the end. And there's still more there, but we can't go back yet. So, I'm thinking we go to Halloween Town. And we go ahead and finish out all the way to Oogie Boogie. Back off. This is it. <laughs> okay, so there's still something here at Halloween Town. Okay, next up I'm going to go back to Hollow Bastion. I think, I believe I'm strong enough to take on Demix at this point. Because I don't, I think they count uh, coming back to get Sephiroth. I think they count that as the final visit. So, yeah, I don't think it's level 50 just yet. Shit. Okay, so we got Cure at the end of uh, all the Final Fantasy people. So here's the dilemma I face. Because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I could take on the Thousand Heartless and kind of whittle them down with uh, Magnet Burst. But do I really want to waste all that time here? I think I'm going to. Only just so I can go back to the Cavern of Remembrance. Um, yeah. Let's do it. Let's try. Okay. One left. I think I can do this. I believe I can. I believe I can. I'm wasting time. Okay. Mega Elixir, Magic Boost, Chaos Anklet. None of those are important. So let's head on back. First we will get the chest here. From the Final Fantasy X-2 sisters. 
Which, by the way, has anybody watching this ever actually played Final Fantasy X-2? Because I never did. I actually bought, because they did the X-10 uh, and X-2 remaster. I did buy that. I played X. I played the first battle of X-2 and I stopped. Because I just could not continue. I uh, I don't know. I I know it's not a game for me. Even so, I just I couldn't, couldn't bring myself to even try to attempt it. Uh, but anyways, I do have Master Form. So we're going to try the uh, core skip. I'm not great at it, but I know how to do it. So ultimately, I think because my aerial dodge is at level 1, I don't think I'm going to be able to do core skip right now. So uh, I'm going to have to come back another time for that. So with that being in mind, um looking at all of my possible options i could go back to pride lands finish it out see if the next or the other important checks there are on the first run also could go back to halloween town and finish it up it's for the second visit i do still have to do the hostile program for space paranoids so that's an option i think ultimately i'm gonna choose to finish up pride lands though uh, the first visit at least just so i can see what's on the hyenas battle and what's on the scar battle after that i think i might finish up space paranoids first visit um i know ultimately one of the proofs is going to be on like one of the final bosses for sure all right so magnet on scar and that was not all that's here so but it's nice to have magnera that's, that's pretty decent okay so now I think I am going to go ahead and head back to finish up for Space Paranoids. Again, I realize it'd probably be smarter to go to one of these worlds that I can visit for the second time, but I don't know. I'm stubborn like this where I'm like, yeah, maybe it's on the, maybe it's on the first visit. Okay, so that was a waste to come here. Nice. Um, so yeah, we will go ahead and head back to one of the worlds now. I think I'm going to start with Beast Castle, even though Zaldan gave me quite the whooping when his data battle he held one of the proofs um, in a previous recording I did. So yeah, now we've reached the point where all of the battle levels are going to be level 50. So this is where it could get pretty interesting. Born pages. That is still not all? Okay, so it's what's well, weird to me sometimes, and I know this is partially my fault for taking a break and such, but uh, occasionally whenever I close out of the game, come back into it, uh, the tracker kind of glitches a little bit. Yeah, it's it was telling me that I'd already had a torn page here, and I did. Yeah, so whenever, because I had already gotten a torn page here earlier in the first visit, so whenever I got that second torn page just now, it did not Where's update the cracker. Alright, so Thunder on Zaldan. And that makes all for Beast Castle. So I do finally have Thunder, which means I can now head back to Agrabah. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Agrabah is not one of my favorites to come back to, namely because, I mean, these, this section just kind of sucks. Everything to do with the carpet it's just not really that fun. Like, don't get me wrong, nothing will top uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 Atlantica sections for the worst combat in the Kingdom Hearts series. But uh, it's so hard for the, the carpet sections and for the lion sections it is very hard competition say which is second worst okay that was pretty sick i didn't mean to do it but it was pretty sick uh okay i guess it's both good and bad so on the one hand at least blizzard was not the last thing here on the other hand, it means I've got to go face Jafar. Again, not a difficult boss, but God, just the carpet. 
Okay. Oh my god. Yep. Uh, of course, one of the proofs had to be on Jafar. It just had to be. Ugh. Hate it. Okay. Well, I've got two more torn pages, so I guess we'll run to the 100 acre wood. I think after I'm done here, I probably will go back to the world that never was. Partially because, you know, if there's no proof here, it's another place to look. But also because even if I do find the proof here, I still don't have the promise charm. So I'm going to need to start making my way up to the top of the tower. Okay, Battlefields of War, which unlocks... Olympus Coliseum, which I don't need to go back to. Fantastic! Um, okay. Yeah, World Never Was is going to be my next stop then. Because realistically, outside of going through uh, Cavern of Remembrance, I mean, this is the only other option I have to search for checks at the moment. So I'm just going to have to be you good really enough to beat Zigbar. So, let's go. Okay, it was not clean, but it was efficient enough, I guess. Yeah, I will say Zigbar is probably my bogey. Zigbar and Zaldin are my two bogey fights, because most of the rest of them I have some way to cheese them if I need to. But the two of them, like, I don't know, they just... Some of their stuff seems so random to me, and I just feel like I can't ever catch the pattern. And even when I've had people show me the pattern, I still... I can't seem to do it myself. Okay, so final set of torn pages was here. Uh, still more to go. Oh my god, it was right there. Final form is right there. Holy crap. Yep, that sounds about right. So this has been one weird seed. All right, so 60 strength, 64 magic, 40 defense, level 43. I mean, I could probably do this. I don't have limit form, so that'll definitely hinder me. But eh, you know what? Yeah. Going in at a disadvantage, that's fun, right? Makes it feel more like a challenge. Okay. Uh, I don't know what caused that, supreme. but it's kind of annoying. Well, I can't mess this up at all. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, that was something. That really was something else. Alright, so I did take a few pauses. Uh, the long pause that I took to eat lunch, I actually did close out of the game, so it shouldn't have recorded that time in here. Uh, but as you can see down the bottom left, 2 hours and 37 minutes. Uh, so probably after taking out the pauses, it took me about 2 hours 20 minutes, maybe? So yeah, I mean, not definitely not an easier seed. Definitely missed a lot of stuff in the process. So, as I've liked to do now a couple times, uh, let's open up the seed and uh, figure out where everything was. All right, so first and foremost, let's find out where the rest of the... Um, where the unlocks for the second visits were. So, Sword of the Ancestor was in... Twilight Town. Apparently it was unreachable. Interesting. So the identity disc for Tron was in Land of Dragons, which of course since Sword of the Ancestor was unreachable, this would also have been unreachable. Where was the picture? Valor level 5. Okay. 
So I could have gotten the picture, but I'm guessing the ice cream? I could not have gotten to Port Royal. Really? Skull and crossbones? So, interesting. So essentially, to be able to unlock Port Royal 2, I would have had to get to Port Royal 2 first. So this is what the seed is all about when it says that it's a beatable seed. Is that there could be a lot of stuff like this, where... I can't actually unlock Port Royal 2, and in doing so, it locks me out of quite a few other things that I was looking for. Uh, forms. Wisdom form, I could have gotten. It was in Twilight Town. Uh, looks like on the second visit. Valor form was on Hyenas 2, so I could have gotten that one. Limit form was unreachable, though. It was in the Cabin of Remembrance en engine chamber. So, that's interesting. I'm guessing... I'm not really sure why that's saying that this was unreachable, Cavern of Remembrance. Maybe... Okay, so this is why Cavern of Remembrance was unreachable. Because all three aerial dodges over here are unreachable. So my aerial dodge was going to stay at level 1 for the entirety of the game. So I could not have gotten into deeper into the Cavern of Remembrance. That is actually insane. I gotta admit, that, that does make things a lot more intriguing uh, whenever you have stuff that you just cannot reach. What else have we, were we missing that I could have used? Okay, Promise Charm. Where was that? I would not have been able to get the Promise Charm. It was on limit level 5 and I could not have gotten limit level. Uh, what about the other two Reflects? Both unreachable. Thunder? Alright, one was on Starry Hill, so that would have been the final thing in Hundred Acre Wood. But then the other one was unreachable in Space Paranoid, so... Wow. Alright. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that will bring us to the end of this fourth Kingdom Hearts 2 randomizer uh, run-through, let's play, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, this was a little bit of a sick one. Um, I clearly made a lot of mistakes that I... I'm really not used to making, and honestly, some of them really frustrated me. <laughs> so, I definitely felt the rage come a little bit more apparent in this one. But this was a—it was a very interesting seed. Uh, first time playing a quote beatable seed where things are locked off, um, and you can't actually get to every important check. It does make for an interesting run because it forces me to have to sort of rethink some of my strategies because I'm not able to utilize things like limit form or a higher reflect level. I have to go all the way to the world, into the world that never was because I don't have the promise charm. Like it does bring about a lot of interesting tactics and strategies and it, it keeps things fresh, you know, because if you keep doing these randomizers enough, it will start to feel a little bit samey. Uh, so whenever they throw in these different mods on the different seeds that they give on the daily, it, it keeps me excited, it keeps me engaged, and it makes me want to come back and try out some more. So, but yeah, that'll bring us to the end of this. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I was probably rambling a little bit today. I again, apologize for probably how sick I sound. But this is just, it's a fun way for me to spend some time casually and just game a bit. Um, I've enjoyed digging into the editing process a little bit more and kind of figuring out how to make these videos somewhat entertaining. With all that being said, though, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe because it really does help me out to know that there are people watching that want to see more of these. And I, I do hope that I'm bringing joy somewhere to somebody. And if not, if you hated these videos, please leave me a comment then and tell me how bad I am. Um, I gladly welcome all forms of interaction, even the bad kinds, because screw it, I just don't care anymore. All that being said, I will see you guys at the next one. Peace out.